What's going on, y'all? This is that Mr. Haywood back with Just Bowl TV, and today I have a video on four tips to help you have a productive and effective practice session when you're by yourself. These are four things that you don't need anybody, like a coach or somebody else, to work with you on. You can literally just take your spare ball, do these, and I'm pretty sure if you do them the correct way and be honest with yourself, by the time you leave, you should feel better about your game. Before we get started into the video, though, I just want to shout out um, my new sponsor, 12 Bagger Bowling. Um, it's also a co-membership or co-sponsorship with Cool Week. Um, so just definitely go out, see what they have on the website between jerseys, hoodies, uh, T-shirts, multiple different things, especially on Cool Week as well. Um, you'll see my discount code as well. So definitely show some love. But in these four tips, you'll go from tip one to tip four, stretching, um, seven and 10 pin practice to hitting your mark, becoming more accurate, and then finishing off with your balance at the foul line. Um, every clip will play twice, but just recognize what each is for. Um, so with the first one, with loosening up, make sure that your muscles are loose, that you're not gonna strain any muscles, pull anything, make sure your body is ready to perform especially when you are slinging 15 pounds or whatever pound weight you use down the lane. Make sure you're loose so you don't tear anything. Secondly, when it comes down to warming up, the first thing I always say or I tell people to do is practice your 10 pins and your 7 pins if you're left-handed. Um, it's a way to just get your body acclimated to throwing the weight, get your body ready to get into a full practice. Um, it also just helps with spare practice in general, so definitely start off like that. Um, be honest with yourself. Try to draw a line, whatever mark you're using. Um, be accurate as much as you can so you'll know if I hit it, I was online. If I was a little too far right and it goes to the gutter or it clips off, um, then be honest. And if you pull it inside and you hit everything besides the 7 or the 10 pin by themselves, um, then you know. The goal is to get as accurate as possible to just clip the 10 or the 7 off by itself multiple times over and over again. Secondly, as far as accuracy, like I said, you could do the same exact thing but use a mark this time. Um, whether you're aiming for the 10 or not, just consecutively try to hit the same thing over and over again. Be honest with the same as well. If you miss right, if you miss left, just be honest. Now, the last tip is at the foul line. Um, whether you're throwing a strike ball, these tips or these uh, workouts as well, pay attention to what you do once you are delivering <clears throat> your ball. If you're popping up, then you want to get to a point where you're stable and you don't move at the foul line. Uh, make sure you're not falling off. So as you see in the clip, he kind of makes a step right. Be honest with yourself. But these are four easy tips. Hope these help. Have a good practice. Just Bow TV.